another splendid morning on the Ebro pool. Yeah, I'm uh, back in my favourite swim. We've got the cat rods out. We're going to uh, do a bit of catting and carping today. Tomorrow, uh, I think we'll do something a bit different. Um, we, we've, we've done a few days here now, we've caught some good fish. Uh, I'm going to take you to a little um, secret little place of mine that I fish myself, not with clients very often. Proper little river, light tackle, nice carp, good condition, proper wild little carp, uh, and some decent sized roach as well. So we'll go and give it a go there tomorrow, but today we've, we've got all day today, so we'll see what we can get. We're going to get the carp rods out soon <clears throat> and uh, see if we can nick maybe a 30 pounder. It's always nice to get over that 30 pound mark. That, that, that's the one you're looking for. Um, so yeah, we'll, we'll see what we can do. Cheers. 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 a good day. I'm on with the first cat of the morning. And it feels like it's just sitting on the bottom. Not giving any head shakes. Oh, there, it's starting now. Heavy, heavy, heavy fish. Oh, it's coming towards me. <laughs> this is one way of doing it, Paul. Y yeah, that's cheating, that is. <laughs> That's being clever, mate. <laughs> <laughs> did, I, did I tell you that if you get over under a pounder, you've got to run naked into the river? Any day, mate. <laughs> Any day. We'll just put away the cameras. <laughs> yeah, but we've all got phones nowadays. <laughs> Getting into the water with this lady. When you get a big one, and it's hooked in the tail. Oh my word. I don't want to know that fight. A 164 on a carp rod. On a carp rod? Hooked in the tail. Oh my word. Hour and a half. And every time I went to glove it, it bit me. You there. 100 pounds is what, it, what we want. I think you've got it with this one. Let's hope so. All right, ready? Ninety-eight. Oh. <laughs> I'm clipping up there. I can't believe there. it. My previous best. Is 97, so I'm one pound up, two pounds short. I can't believe that. I'm getting but. into the water with this, mate. Okay.
First fish of the day. Rods have not been in too long. 97 pound. 98. 98 pound. Loki's new PB. Cracking fish to start with. And uh, we'll snap a few pictures off and uh, see if we can't get one slightly bigger. Okay, snapped a few pictures off. I think it's about time to get this one back in again. Let it get its breath back. She'll just drop, drift off when she's ready. There she goes. They, uh, they don't take too long to recover, which is amazing after the fight they give up. Um, just keep them upright, let them, let them get some breath and when they're ready, and just drift off nice and steady. Lovely. I've lost the shoe in hell. Now we've got another take. Okay, Lake has just gone off to make a cup of coffee, which is always good to catch catfish. Um, he did ask me earlier what, what things people need to bring when they come on a trip here to Spain. And uh, sunblock, <laughs> a definite. Um, definitely if you come July sort of time, June, July, August, extremely hot here. Uh, old clothes. So for fishing in that you don't mind throwing away, these fish are extremely slimy. So two or three old t-shirts, old pair of shorts. Uh, shoes wise, in the summer, Crocs, sandals, uh, something like that, old pair of trainers, because um, you're going to be getting in the water with the fish. You definitely want to keep some on your feet, never going barefoot. Um, and that, that's basically the basics that you need for a trip out here. Everything else is, uh, is supplied by us. It's a decent fish for some, but it's a small fish for here. So, uh, save the, the amount of stress, we'll just pop the hook out and let him go. Okay, business end of a catfish, obviously. These are all teeth here, very light, small needle teeth. Another set of pads there, much the same on the bottom jaw. And then down the back, if you can see there, there's two sets of crushing pads, top and bottom. Basically, once it goes in, there's no way it's coming out. Almost a 30 pounder, mate. Yeah, nice fish, 25, 30 pound. Good bit of sport. Off you go. Go and get your grandma. Okay, what I'm going to show you now is uh, how to tie the rigs up we use for these catfish and the materials we use to make them. Basic stuff for a catfish rig, a good strong hook, nice and sharp, this is a 3.0 and some 150 pound braid. Okay, how to make it, take your braid, make a loop. and then up through the eye, if you can. Make the loop the length you want it, for however many pellets you're putting on, roughly about that. And then basically all it is is a knotless knot. So hold the loop and the, the braid, round six or seven times. And then the end of the braid 
back down through the eye. Pull it nice and tight. And that is your basic catfish rig. It is stupidly hot today. No breeze. I think it must be touching 40 degrees. I thought it was going to be a big fish. 60, 70 pounds, Paul? Around about that. Yeah, I, I expected something to double that from the fight you gave. Skinny and strong, but always a pleasure. Let's get it, get it back and get the rod back in. Okay. Oh, there's a fish on. Yep. Well, yeah, there's definitely a fish on that one. <laughs> oh, oh yes. For sure. You get the bell, mate. Okay. There you go. That's a big one. This feels good. You want to have this one, mate? I had a big one. No, you crack on, mate. I can catch them any day. We've got to get you a, a big, big one. A good guide. <laughs> <laughs> mate, when people come to to Spain, yeah. you offer the whole package. I think just tell the viewers what, what, what you offer, what you do okay. from start to finish. Okay. Basically, basically what do... Uh, people ring up, I'll quote them a price. It will include uh, accommodation in a hotel. I'll arrange all their licenses. Um, I can arrange transport from the airport if they want, or they can hire a car, whichever they prefer. And all the tackle and equipment for carp and catfishing is all supplied. Um, and, and basically, the, the only thing they have to pay for is the bait pellets that we use. Ooh, we don't know how much we're going to use. And, and their food and drink in the evenings. So, and, and then basically that's it. Everything else is arranged by us. I must say, you, you really made it easy for us to come here. The hardest bit was getting our visas out of, out of South Africa. Had a bit of run around yeah, with you, that. You told me a few stories which was uh, interesting, <laughs> to say the least. But once we landed, it was quite easy. and. I must say, we were overwhelmed with the amount of fish that we had, carp and cats. It, it's been a good, a good session. You've had a good time. We haven't. Well, we're hoping this one's going to be a, a proper big lump. Um, to you, the fish you've had are really big. Uh, to us, they're okay. <laughs> Hopefully, this one's going to be a bit different. It gives me a reason yeah. to come back though. Well, yeah, if you don't get the, the really big lump, then you know you're always welcome. Come up and see us anytime. But I think, you're, uh, I think you might do it with this one. This one's a totally different fight by the looks of it. This rod just had a couple of bounces on it. I thought it was a small fish. Picked it up, it came in for about 20 meters and then just shot right off. Uh, it's going again. I think this is a decent sized fish. The drag is quite tight. So they're not just taking line at will.
this thing a bit like a small one. It really, um, it came in for that first 20 odd meters. Okay. And uh, then just turned it around and... Took off like a freight train. Yes. Yeah, I think it's, uh, it's had more line off you than you've gained back, that's for sure. <laughs> you can have the pussy pad if you want. <laughs> nah. Yeah. I think one or two more days. With all the bruises going. <laughs> I would have had that. Are you, are you sure you don't want the no, pussy I'm pad? Sure. I'm sure. Are you sure? I'm sure. I'm sure. It's, it's not called a pussy pad because we use it for catfishing. It's called a pussy pad because the pussies wear it when they can't handle the fish. <laughs> Uh, certainly looks a decent fish. I've said it before and I'll say it again. If you want to be tested as an angler, if you think you have arms, come to the Ebro. Switch your real handle there. <laughs> Come and try and catch this catfish. We're used to doing this in South Africa. You're gonna catch sharks right handed, mate. <laughs> I, I'm sure you're gonna get your own back on me. Yeah. Not done yet. Fish. Skinny one. Nah, he's good. This is this is the one you came for, mate, for sure. <laughs> Yes. I think you're going to get a big bucket of water, mate. For sure. I hope so. Let's find out. Ooh. This one that that's, long. That's an easy 60 kilos. Oh. That is a big fish. Uh, Where's the bar? Just there. Oh, yeah, we go. Okay. Well, you've got to lift it off the ground. <laughs> <laughs> All right, one. One forty. One forty. Yeah. Yes. Thanks, buddy. Well done, mate. Well done. Fish of a lifetime. That is a big fish. Have to get in the water with this oh, one. Oh, for sure. Take some decent pictures. I'm going to kiss it on the lips. <sighs> Cracking fish. The one that Loki come for. 140 pound. Approximately 65 kilos. Proper Ebro beast. Absolutely brilliant. This is the sort of thing that everybody comes to the Ebro for. You can swim off 
now. Look at that. Well done, mate. Well done. I'm just gonna. Thank you, Paul. <laughs> <laughs>